This shrimp is a very colorful crustacean found deep under the ocean. A member of the animal kingdom in the phylum Arthropoda, and here in the class Malacostraca. Malacostraca. Can't pronounce that. They all have the characteristics of arthropods. They possess a chitinous exoskeleton that must be shed during growth. They have jointed appendages. They have segmented bodies. They have bilateral symmetry. They have a ventral nervous system and a dorsal open circulatory system. These mantis shrimp live in the coral reefs of the ocean and are nice and colorful to match their surroundings. The mantis shrimp can be found at depths of 3 to 40 meters, though they are most typically found at depths of 10 to 30 meters. They prefer water temperatures of 22 to 28 degrees Celsius. These mantis shrimp are most commonly found in their U-shaped burrows, often built near the bases of coral reefs on sandy and gravelly areas. They are often bought and kept as pets. Few creatures are straight up ornery as a mantis shrimp, a kind of lobster looking crustacean that is not in fact a shrimp, but a close relative called a stomatopod. It's equipped with the two astoundingly powerful hammers, which it uses to, which it uses to smash hard shelled prey like clams and the crabs. Although some mantis shrimp have uh, two spear like appendages at the end of their arms, which is used to spear small fish and anything that, anything else that they can eat. We're talking about the mantis crab with the hammer hands. They have the fastest punch in the world of the, in the animal kingdom with the same acceleration as a 22 caliber bullet. To a mantis shrimp, Kung Fu looks like Tai Chi. The mantis shrimp can deliver a blow with up to two, with up to 1500 newtons of force. They can strike so fast, little vacuums are fo formed called cavitation bubbles, which collapse immediately, creating a second shock wave, which generates light and heat. Although some mantis shrimp are equipped with spear-like points at the end of their hands, like I mentioned earlier, this is a strange creature that is that that is obvious, but things get really bizarre when it comes to its ritualistic duels over territory. When two stomatopods argue, argue over land rights, they settle things by smashing each other in the butt. Yeah. They do this because they're usually arguing over territory, mates, prey. However, they actually try to avoid fighting. So instead they use a technique known as a marrow spread and we say wave their arm to telegraph its size and aggressiveness. Imagine if you didn't want to, if you wanted to finish a conflict non-violently, so you just stood up and waved your arms like a maniac. Oh wait, that's hockey! This technique almost never works, much like hockey, because they're usually the same size. The reason to strike each other on the tail is that they have a special plate called a telson, which reminds me of Mike Tyson. This, this plate absorbs most of the impact from the punch of a mantis shrimp. They keep doing this until one of them just gives up and swims away. The eyes of a mantis shrimp are compounded, meaning they consist of an array of numerous small visual units as found in insects and crustaceans. The mantis shrimp can detect 12 color wavelengths, while us humans can only detect 3. They have up to 16 photoreceptors and can see UV, visible, and polarized light. In fact, they are the only animals known to detect circulatory polarized light, which is when a wave compound component of light rotates in a circular motion. They also can perceive depth with one eye and move each eye independently like a chameleon. As for mating, mantis shrimp generally mate all year round. They mate a couple times throughout the year, but the peak mating seasons are during the warmer months of the year. This gestation period is around 40 days, but can range from 9 to 60 days. When the eggs hatch, they eat plankton, but they're still capable of packing a punch. The male releases sperm through its external copulatory organ, which is then collected by the female. Once the female collects the sperm, he uses it to fertilize the eggs it is holding inside. After the eggs are fertilized, the female then brings them to a burrow for safe development. After the male deposits his sperm with the female, he generally does not have any parental investment.